Yo, 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 what is up, guys? And as usual, I am your host with the most, Sterling Freak. But, um, we're not here for the intro. We are actually, oh, okay. we're actually here to, uh, talk about the poop story that happened in another country, and I said I would reveal it today. So, what had happened was, it was me, it was like, I think, two years back, I was, like, a little bit younger, and, uh, I was in Cuba, and I was me, my cousins, and two girls, and I, when you're, see, when you're, like, in the middle of nowhere, because if you go to Cuba, there's this, like, places where it's the middle of nowhere, it's, oh, look at this quad, look at this, not quad, um, this, um, two-kill feed, or two-piece, whatever. Anyways, um, when you're in Cuba, you, you can go in the middle of nowhere, you know, and whatever. So, we were by, like, a tomato field, and, like, a lettuce field, and stuff like that, and I really, really needed to take a shit. And, um... And, I mean, I used to live in Cuba when I was, like, I think I think it was five. Well, from, I, I was born in Cuba, and then I came when I was six or five or something like that. Um, And, uh, you know, so I have family there, and I know everywhere around. And I need to take a shit, and, you know, I was pretty far from home, so I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm taking a shit in the tomato field. So there I am. I put my pants down. I take, you know, I'm taking a, a lovely shit. It feels good. And, uh, by the, by the way, I had nothing to wipe myself with but the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> but the lettuce um leaves so uh yeah uh, but um anyways so i'm there taking a shit in the tomato field and um and then i hear like this like moving around kind of stuff and i'm like wait what and then all you all i hear in in spanish is there he is there he is he's taking a shit he's taking a shit get him get him get him and there it is, like, fucking five, you know, guards, because it's like a federal, uh, not, yeah, it's like a federal, um, uh, kind of plantation kind of place. And there I am, taking a shit, and I, I literally haven't been so scared in my freaking life. I ran as hard as I can. I literally picked up my, sh my shoes, picked up my jeans. I remember I used to wear jeans a lot, uh, like two years ago. I was actually visiting. Picked up my jeans, you know, I had my shirt on still. Literally ran for my life. My penis was like fucking every. And then, like from since I got so scared, like I was in the middle of like you know dump like you know dumping another another turd out. And I got so fucking scared. I literally like just like pooped it out and I got all over my back. Um, I ran. Um, kept running, kept running. All you see is my penis going everywhere and shit going everywhere from my back. Fucking the guards are just laughing, and, you know, one of them is chasing me, my penis is going from side to side, pee's going all over my leg, and it, it was so embarrassing, because there was actually two girls and my cousin, and, and, you know, I, I was kind of flirting with one of the girls, and it was so freaking embarrassing, and, and then, um, so I run through, like, a backyard, you know, I run through, like, all these stuff, there was, like, sand spurs, and, like, like, twigs, and stuff like that, and I didn't care, I was stabbing myself, I'm like, fuck it, uh, I'm about to get arrested, something like that, you know, since I'm visiting, if you get arrested, you know, some sh real shit can happen, and, um, so I'm, I'm there, and then I get, I get to, to one of the back here, I'm like, okay, here, I'm safe, and there is, like, a, um, like a banana tree, but it's, like, um, it's, like, not a banana, I don't know how to, you know, it's a banana, but another type of banana, and, um, there I am, trying to take, a trying to take a, a shit, you know, and peacefully, and then after I got done taking the shit, I grabbed the banana leaves, and I fucking wiped my ass with it, and it was just so crazy, it was one of the craziest stories ever in my experience, there's actually some more actual stories in, um, in my experiences, and it was just really, really crazy, um, so yeah, this is the funny, embarrassing story, uh, as you can see, I go 10 and 0, or, uh, something like that, I don't know if you can see it, for, uh, yeah, I can't see it, I don't know, um, so yeah, it was really, really embarrassing, and um, hope you guys really like the story. I mean, I I will, you know. I actually, let's just jump to another story. Let's just jump to another story. Um, let's see, another story I could tell is um, oh yeah. So I I mean, really, this is not gonna be funny as the first one, but it is gonna be you know just an experience story. Um. So I was walking with my co with my cousin and then my friend. I actually have this one friend, and um, uh. and um, I mean he's he's pretty crazy. Like one time he fucking grabbed a machete and he started macheting the freaking high school, uh, the high school that I used to. Well, see, it's anyway. It's just I don't know. He's uh he started macheting the high school near my house. The window. He started just macheting it. The security guard at the high school. 
just just fucking kept on um on um on chasing us and it was crazy and so but that uh, talking about that same friend that same um that same uh, friend me and him or that same high school was getting full of students so they had to transfer them to another high school which is up by my grandma's house not far from that one and you know and the girl that i was flirting with well this is another this is another time and i was actually a little bit old i think it was like last year and the uh the the girl i was flirting with um i don't remember her name or if even if i did i wouldn't say i don't know just for I mean, not like anybody's gonna go to Cuba and be like, yo, you're in a YouTube video or something like that. But, um, <clears throat> for, so, um, what was I? Oh, yeah, so she she's in this other high school, right? And in Cuba, it's different than the United States. In Cuba, you, like, to when you're gonna get, like, your lunch, they don't, the school doesn't give you your, your lunch. The school says, fuck you, you're not getting lunch for me, you're getting your own fucking lunch. So, like, a pizza cart comes around selling pizza to the students, and, um, and, you know, some, some, some weird shit like that. So there's this pizza cart, and if anybody, like, there, it was, like, full of pizzas, so like, a blue one. And if anybody fucking messes with that pizza cart and, you know, fucking knocks it down or anything like that, then they fucking, um, you know, they'll get, uh, um, you know, the cops over there, and you'll get a fine or whatever, and you have to pay for e everything. And, um, of course, my stupid friend, you know, while I was here, you know, flirting with the with the girl, you know, after I got done talking English with one of the English teachers over there, since they're Spanish, um, you know, I'm over there, I'm coming back, my stupid friend decides to fucking hang from the pizza car, he knocks it down, pizza car not like, after he knocked it down and did, like, a flip, it goes down the fucking road, it, it, it's, like, down a hill, and all the pizzas are going everywhere, it's fucking crazy, um, my cousin actually decides, one of my cousins decides to run, and down the street, this is like the central of the place. This is where like all the businesses are. It's like a like a business kind of place, and you know where you um where there's a lot of places to hide and you know ramps and everything like that. My cousin runs down the fucking hill as fast as he fucking can. He um he hides in this little park down the road in in a little boat. He hides there. Nobody ever finds him. You know, and and I'm from the United States. In in the United States, I'm not used to. You know, running from fucking teacher, security guard, fucking, you know, taking a shit in a tomato field. So I don't know what the fuck to do. And there goes my crazy friend. He's fucking running. And then the uh, physics teacher, I think it was, runs after him. And uh, so there's these refuge or whatever they're called. They're like holes underground. And that's where people are, like supposed to hide if there's ever a war, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's like a ramp. And then boom, down there is the hole. Like you go down. I don't know how to explain it, but... So my crazy friend is just running, and he, the physics teacher is running after him. And for some reason, they told me that he can't run. Like you, can, if you curve him, um, you know, it, he'll um, he'll fall because he doesn't know how to run. He only runs straight. He can't like turn really fast, or he'll just fall. So my crazy friend is running straight because he doesn't know. He's about to jump off the ramp. The teacher grabs him from his long hair, yanks him back, fucking you know, throws him all over the ground, puts his hands behind his back. Is you know. You know, he calls the security guards, they're there, you know. And when my cousin was running at the time, I'm like, yo, yo, stop, 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 because I was scared. I, literally, I was crying. I'm like, no, no, don't do anything to me. Don't do anything to me. It was fucking crazy. They said they were going to find us. They never did. Fuck, you know. I'm like, bitch, I'm from the United States. I'll fucking stab you in the fucking dick. So that's the end of the story. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, favor, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. What up, guys, and welcome to the show Free Studio. Of course, I am your host with the most sterling freak. I hope you guys enjoyed that embarrassing story about me in Cuba. And uh, if you did, remember to leave that subscribe, you know, like, you know, thumbs up, whatever, to see the next uh, experience stories. And I'll see you guys next time.